Hello, Edward. Hello, Paris. Hello, darling. It's How are really you? Glamorous. So if you look back at your life over the sort of past 10 years, did you think you'd be where you are in this incredible position? I am from a northern mining town. This life that I'm living now was never meant for me. I grew up feeling like my life was going to be miserable and I wish I could go back. I really, 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 really wish I could go back. I really want to give that person a hug. What do you think has helped you get here? I like to think I've got some talent. I've got Very talent. Well, thank you. And I've, I've got things that I feel passionate about. But also some of it is people saying, yeah, we will open the door for you. I remember those people. I remember those names. I always try and pass it on in the way that people have passed it on to me. As a trans woman, have you felt time when you've been best represented? For me, the, the biggest piece of activism over the past few years is when Laverne Cox bought her house because she is a black trans woman. She wasn't supposed to buy a house, you know. It's all very well having representation. We want to be empowered and not oppressed. Do you think there's been a turning point around the conversation around diversity? Ultimately, you know, it is a cultural change. I did have at least a sense that we were moving forward. And in, in many ways, I, I do feel that we are, but I feel that things are becoming quite hostile for, for trans people in the press and, uh, you know, in everyday life. I'm one of the most privileged trans women in the country, Edward, you know, and so if I'm feeling it, how do you feel if you are unemployed, living on a council estate, you're getting abused every single time you leave your house? Because this is the reality for a lot of people. I've actually got a little present for you. This is my book. Oh. This is what it feels like for a girl about growing up as a sort of grotty kid on a council estate, getting into all sorts of trouble, ending up in prison, I was bullied at school, you know, felt intimidated by my father at home. I want people to know what it feels like to grow up and not be supported. I've had to make some tough choices, you know, and people from marginalised backgrounds do because it's not being handed out to us yeah. on a plate. So I'm very mindful of how I got to here because I am not supposed to be here. You being here makes the world a better place. Thank you so much for being a force for change. Thank you for being an inspiration to me and to countless people out there. Thank you so much. Thank you.